In this video, I'm going to show you how the administrator will approve a new user account. As mentioned in the other video, the administrator will receive a notification email like this. So the first thing you do is you click on the link. Once you have clicked that link in the email, you will get into this page. If you can't get into this page, make sure that you check that you have logged in as administrator because only the administrator will be able to see this page. Now let's look at the information that the user have provided when they sign up for the account. Here is the username that the user have chosen. And this is the email address. By looking at the email address, you will be able to tell whether the user is a real person or a spam server. The reason for this is for spamming servers or spamming robots, they have a tendency to use the same domain name but a different username in for the email address so it will be pretty obvious once you you have seen one of the spamming servers trying to sign up an account on your server if we move down we will be able to see the first name last name phone number and the location, I mean the address that the user have entered when they apply for this account. If you are uncertain whether this is a real person or not, you can always give the user a call and see what they are after or whether you your company is able to provide the service they want. Now we have examined all the details that the user have entered and we are pretty confident the user is a real person. So what you would want to do as an administrator is you want to approve this account now. And approving an account is the second reason that I mentioned just now because you want to assign a specific role to the user. For example, you can assign all new accounts as a cash customer, which means the customer place an order and the copy go to try to pick up the puzzle your customer will have to pay cash on the spot to the copy driver otherwise you will not take the puzzle alternatively you could use uh, something called prepaid account what happens with prepaid accounts is um, the customer have to put money into a system first just like a prepaid mobile phone and the system will deduct money when the user place an order on the system so you know like if a customer is able to place an order that means they have already paid for it using the virtual currency on the system so let's select the prepaid role for now there's one more thing that we need to do there's a driver allocated field in here the purpose of this field is for you as an administrator to assign a driver to pick up all the puzzles that this this account has placed if you have if you do this right now what happens is all the orders that this user generates on the system will be automatically assigned to this driver you have set and if you do this if you do this the driver will be able to see the job that this customer has ordered as soon as the order is placed if you don't set this setting for example you leave it at none you as an administrator, you will have to manually assign the driver to pay the parcel for all the orders that the user have placed. I will show you in another video how that is done. Now, if you're happy with this account, we can activate it. There's an option up here called status. Right now it's blocked. That means the account cannot be used. So you set it to active. Scroll down the page and press save. Once you press the save button, the user will receive an email notification saying that the account is approved. The user will receive an email notification like this one. There's a link here that the user can use to change or reset the password. Otherwise, you can just receive the link, the other link here, and enter the username that you have chosen and the password you have entered when you sign up. Once you have logged in as a user, you will be able to place an order on the courier tracking website. As an administrator, 
there's another way you can check the list of users who have applied or registered an account. So let's log in as administrator. What you need to do is click the people button here. On this page, you list out all the accounts on the server or on this system. What you want to do is to find the user who is blocked. Select this status option. Select block. Press the filter button. And you'll see a list of user account which is blocked, which means they have just signed up. And you can click the edit button to get into the same page as what I have just shown you.